Hello boxing fans, Grandmaster Ted Gambadella here with the latest news on the Pacquiao Margarito fight. They're going to be fighting at a catch weight of 150 pounds, not 154 pounds. Pacquiao will be fighting Margarito at a catch weight of 150 pounds, not at the title weight of 154 pounds. Now we've had it up to here with all these idiots out there on the web telling you that Pacquiao is not really a seven times world champion because he fights too many times at catch weights and thus does not deserve the title of being the actual champion at the approved weights of the sanctioning bodies. Bull. The fighters who own the title and who are trying to take the title have to agree together to fight at a specific weight. One fighter can't say, I want to fight at 154 pounds for the title and you have to fight at 150. That's not how it works. Both fighters agree to fight and defend the title at a specific weight. If one fighter doesn't agree, there's no fight. It's that simple. And if the fighter who owns the title wants to fight at a higher or lower weight, that is his decision, and he has the right to do it. Here's the important thing to remember about catch weights. No fighter walks around at the weight he intends to fight at. They always cut weight, and some cut 20 or more pounds. Light heavyweights and heavyweights have often cut 40 or more pounds. And more importantly, when the fighters actually enter the ring, they are never at the weight they wore when they weighed in for the fight. Some may gain 5, 10, 15 pounds overnight. If anyone is getting an advantage by fighting at a catch weight, it is so small as to be inconsequential and will seldom, if ever, change the outcome of the fight. And remember, both fighters have to agree to fight at the catch weight. Here's another important point. It is much harder to go up in weight class and fight than it is to drop down a weight class and fight. Now, if you actually had to drop down from 165 pounds to 154 pounds and actually had to fight in the match the next day at that weight, it would be difficult. It would be much harder. But that's not the way it works in boxing. That is the way it works in sports like wrestling, where my son Teddy Gambardella was a four-time state champion on champion teams. And he, I have seen him go many, many days without eating but just a little bit to make the weight before the match. And here's the important part. He had to fight the next day at that exact weight and keep that exact weight to the finals the day after that. So for two days, he had to cut weight, make the weight, and fight at that weight. Now that's a lot harder than what they do in boxing where they cut weight, make the weight, then go and eat and relax, and the next day they fight 5, 10, 15 pounds heavier. You have to understand that. In boxing, you make a weight, then you don't fight at that weight. When Pacquiao fights Margarito at 150 pounds, he'll probably have to gain some weight to come in and fight at that weight. Margarito will be dropping 5 to 15 pounds to make the weight and will probably fight the next night at 160 pounds, giving him quite an advantage. But have no fear. Fear! Think about that word, Floyd. Pacquiao will fight Margarito with 150 pounds and he will beat him. And Floyd Mayweather will continue to be on vacation from the baddest boxer in the world. Afraid to fight Pacquiao at any weight class. Ha! So all you people that are reading how Pacquiao is not really legitimate at different titles and stuff, that's just bull. They don't know what they're talking about and they're just trying to, to make something out of nothing. This is Grandmaster Ted Gambadella. I'll see you next time with some more great boxing insight.